Welcome back to another iDoctor UK video. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Samsung A13 and it's got a problem with the power button. When I plug the phone in, you can see that it's on, but when I press the power button, we're getting nothing at all. So we're going to open it up and see what's going on inside there. Opening the Samsung A13 is really easy. All you need to do is pop out the SIM tray and remove any SIM card. The area here that we just removed the SIM tray from is a flexible part in the back cover. So take a plastic opening tool, insert it a couple of millimeters and begin running it down the edge to pop the back cover off. It's a little bit fiddly when you get to the corners and you do have to use quite a bit of force to get it off. And then also when you're on the right hand edge of the phone, be careful of the power button not to cut the cable. Once you've got one side off, you might just have to run it back around to remove the rest of it. But now that we're inside the phone, we can see that this flex cable shouldn't be folded up like that. So either this one has been faulty from, uh, from factory. Oh, wow, it's just snapped. So it was either faulty from factory or somebody else has been inside this phone and they have done some damage to it when reassembling it. Anyway, to replace the button, it's very simple. Just use a plastic prying tool to disconnect the power button from the logic board. Put the phone to one side. Then again, with the prying tool, just pop the metal bracket up to release it from the chassis. And then poke the button out of the back cover. Replacement parts for these are quite easily available and I will leave a link for this part in the description below. To reinstall the button, just make sure that the flex cable here is pointing to the bottom of the phone. Insert it into the hole in the back cover and then grab your metal bracket with some tweezers and reinstall it just like that. Make sure that the either side of the bracket is pushed all the way down and then this is ready to reinstall onto the phone. To reconnect the flex cable, lay the back cover and the phone side by side like that and then using some tweezers to help you line it up, place the connector over the FPC connector and ensure that it's clicked into place correctly. All that we need to do now is reinstall this back cover, fold it into place, and apply pressure around all edges, making sure that there's no gaps between the mid-frame bezel and that clamshell sort of back cover. We can now see that our power button is working and all that's left to do now is reinstall the SIM tray and this one's good to return back to our customer. Thank you for watching and see you next time.